everybody, I'm Scott Lawrence and I get the question a lot, how do you become a better longboarder? Well today I'm going to show you five ways to do just that. Now these aren't going to be tricks, they're going to be ways that you can develop and uh, expand your knowledge and skills of longboarding and that will help you learn tricks faster. So the first one is be very comfortable with your setup. And by setup I mean your board, everything about it. Be very comfortable with it. I've seen people get into skating and they change their setup a lot. They try this truck, that truck, those wheels, this deck, and that's fine to experiment and try to find what you like, but when you do find something that you like, try to stick with it for as long as you can because then you'll be able to get way more comfortable with your board and you'll know it, you know, back and front and you'll be able to learn tricks faster because you'll have a good control over your board. And it's not about what you're riding. If you're riding a Twizzler Us board and it feels good and you like it and you're comfortable with it and you can actually learn tricks with it, that's fine. Ride your Toys R Us board. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have the thousand dollar triple beam just to go bomb down hills. That being said, more expensive boards are more durable, safer, and you know, better, but that's not what it's about. It's about having fun skating. And uh, if you can do that on a Toys R Us board, go for it. Although they're very unsafe. I don't recommend riding a Toys R Us board at all. The next tip is watch tons of content. More skating content that you see, the more inspired and the more ideas and like, you know, oh, that's how I do it, kind of things that will happen. There's lots of amazing platforms for this. YouTube that you're on right now is one of them. Um, there's tons of people who skate on YouTube. I'll put some people down in the description that you can watch that are amazing longboarders and uh, you can, I'm sure you'll gain some inspiration from them. Instagram is another amazing platform that you can uh, watch tons of riding content on. There's people on Instagram that aren't necessarily just like a person who rides. It's like an account that will post tons and tons of just riding footage from different skaters all over the world. Watching content's amazing because sometimes you'll see someone do a trick that you don't know yet and you think, I could do that trick, so you go out and try it and you, you do it. <laughs> My third tip is meet other skaters and ride with them. Uh, it's great to ride with other people and you can learn a lot from someone else of how they do this or that and um, they can maybe teach you a new trick, you can teach them a trick and you can kind of make like really good friendships through other people who skate. And if you're a longboarder, it doesn't have to be another longboarder. It could be, you know, someone rides a trick board or something like that, something else because you can still hang out with them and learn stuff from them. Just because you ride a different board doesn't mean anything. It might be hard to meet these people at first, but I'm sure eventually you'll find them. You can look online for different clubs or organizations of people who skate. And of course, there's the skate park too. My next tip is try new tricks that seem really hard, but you know, just try them anyway because you might surprise yourself. There's a lot of times where I've seen tricks online and on Instagram and YouTube and stuff, and I've been like, that's a really cool trick. I should try that. I want to learn that. And it seems really hard though. But I try it anyway, and I actually get really close to landing it, and sometimes even learn it, like, immediately. All the tips I've mentioned already, being comfortable and everything like that, they help with this. They, you know, can make it so you might actually do these tricks a lot quicker. Sometimes when you're skating, uh, it's good to be in a comfort zone so you don't hurt yourself, but sometimes you just gotta send it. You guys silly? I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, deal with the the consequences later because you know you could land it and you could do it and you might look really cool in front of your friends. My fifth and final tip is consistency. When you learn a new trick, let's say yesterday you learned how to kickflip but you landed it only once and then you said oh I just learned kickflips I need to go home now. In a couple days you can tell your friends I landed a kickflip and they're gonna be like show me. You might not be able to do it because you only landed it once and you didn't get that consistency and that motor memory of how to land a kickflip every time. So consistency is great, it can make it so you can land a trick like immediately, every time. I'm, with, I'm like that with no complies, I can land a no comply every time and uh, it feels really good. What I do when I learn a new trick, when I learn pop shove it's when I learn fakie uh, no comply big spins, I did this with both those tricks, I tried to land one every single time I went skating. Um, it didn't matter if I was at the hill, I'd find a little, you know, flat spot and I would make sure I landed one at least because uh, that really made me better with it and more motor memory and now I can do both those tricks almost every try. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it helped you out and made you a better longboarder. Make sure to leave a like if you liked it, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz, and uh, leave comments. I love reading comments, I love replying. 
So um, please leave those, and you can leave future video ideas. I love hearing what you guys want to see me do, uh, whether it's like a braille type, like weird board thing, or just you know skating here, or, you know trying this trick. I don't know, but uh, I would love to hear your suggestions. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.